Hi there, it's Nicole McGuirk, and today I have a paper crafted ornament to share with you as part of the Lawn Fawn Very Fawny Holiday Week over on the Lawn Fawn blog. And I wanted to create both the ornament plus the packaging for my gift, so I did a little gift box there as well. And that was out of the Lawn Fawn Peace Joy Love paper collection cut from my silhouette die cutting machine. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the owl portion of my ornament and I'm using the winter owl stamp and die cut. First I stamped my image on some solid white smooth cardstock and then I stamped it on a little scrap of pattern paper from the 6x6 Peace Joy Love paper pad and I'm cutting out the scarf. I really wanted the scarf to have some texture and I feel like the easiest way to achieve that is with some pattern paper, especially the 6x6 size. A lot of times the patterns are scaled down so they're perfect for smaller images like this. Oh, and I am just going to color. There's a little gnat in the, my office for some reason. I guess it wasn't cold enough to get rid of all the little... I don't know where he came from, but he made an appearance in the video it looks like. I'm coloring in my owl and I'm just gonna speed through most of this, but I'm just shading him in with several colors of brown and I really worked to get the smoothest appearance that I could. So for me coloring is kind of relaxing, so I really kind of enjoy the whole process. Just I keep layering on color a little bit at a time until I get the desired effect. It's just blending it out in between each darkening of the uh, or the shading and everything. I, I just try to smooth that out after applying each layer. Testing out another color over there. I wanted to really darken it up and add some of those details and shadowing. That tends to really make your stamped and colored images come, al come alive when you add just that tiny bit of detailing with a darker color. Again, going back in with my lighter color and smoothing all of those little lines out. And you can see that I really did kind of color and color and color until I got the, uh, the desired effect. It did take a little bit because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do and I started out a little bit lighter. It's always best to start out lighter and work up to your darker colors because you can always go darker, darker but you can't go lighter. So then I stamped the owl again and colored in the nose because I didn't really want to cut around the nose on the scarf. I went ahead and just cut that scarf out and layered it and then I'm going to cut out the nose and layer it on top. So I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about here as I apply my scarf. And I went ahead and had it adhesive to the eye portions because I was adding googly eyes for my owl. And then I realized that I'm going to have to run my owl through my die cutting machine. So I had to pop those back off. So don't do that. <laughs> Wait to add anything dimensional until later. And I added a little bit of sparkle to the scarf with the Sakura glitter pin. I just like the little bit of sparkle and sheen that adds. And I'm adding a little bit of detail to the tummy of the owl with the white opaque pin from Sakura as well. So he's super super cute but you see I had to pop his eyes off because I wasn't thinking. And <laughs> I'm gonna just secure that coordinating frame or that that die cut over the owl and run that through my Sizzix Big Shot real quick. And then I have a perfectly cut owl, owl shape. And then I can go ahead and reapply those googly eyes. I really wasn't thinking, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I, I get to coloring and, and embellishing and I sort of forget that I'm missing a step, I think. So I love these googly eyes with the kind of the little eyelashes. I think they're really fun, kind of expressive. And so many of the lawn fawn animals are perfect for adding these kind of accents to, which I think is really fun. 
Okay, so he is all done. So I'm going to set him aside for a minute and we'll move on to the rest of the, or the back piece for the center section of the ornament because the ornament is in three pieces. So I'm going to stamp the phrase from the Winter Owl stamp set right there on my other black die cut circle. I should also mention that these black die cut circles are from the Lawn Fawn circle stackables. And then so are all of these circles here cut from six by six pattern papers. And I'm just folding them all in half and then I'm going to glue them one to another. It's just a really simple way to make a three dimensional owl ornament. So I'm just going to quickly adhere all of these but the last one together. And I'm just stacking them up kind of carefully, but I'll show you how I get around those kind of rough edges near the end of the ornament. So I've got two of them partially put together. You can see I left one of those open. I'm going to go ahead and add my adhesive now, and I'm going to string through a double th threaded string. This is some hemp teak, hemp teak rather, um, string. It's fairly thin but nice and strong. And I doubled it there so that it will have a hook at the top and it will have two ends at the bottom which I will secure. I'll show you how I kind of hide those in a minute. And I did knot it there before and after my ornament to kind of hold it in place and then I secured it with a little glossy accents. I'm going to string through this little bobble from Tim Holtz. And then finally I'm adding some liquid pearls. This is the opal color or white color to the edges of my ornament and I'm just kind of smoothing it along the edges. Not only does this help to kind of disguise those rough edges, it gives a nice subtle kind of pearlescent sheen and it seals those edges really nicely so that I don't have to worry about the ornament coming apart. Since this is out of paper, I really I wanted it to be as secure as possible. I mean you do need to kind of be careful, more careful I would say, with some of your paper things that so they don't get smashed, but this is just a great way to kind of seal some of those edges. And I did that on all three sections. I hope you've enjoyed this video and check out all of the Lawn Fawn projects over at the Lawn Fawn blog all week long. Thanks for watching.